Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark for brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day. It's October 25th here. And we got a couple economic news releases to go over today. Uh, earlier this week, the Monday and Tuesday, we had nothing. But today is the kind of the start of the week uh, for what's uh, what's to come. And today we'll start off with durable goods orders for the month of September. So in August, we had a 2% increase in durable goods orders. Uh, forecast for the month of September was supposed to be 0.7%, and it went up even higher at 2.2%. Awesome numbers right there. Now, if you exclude the uh, take the global goods and exclude the big ticket items like transportation, uh, we had a, still a good uh, month here. We had 0.7% in August. Uh, forecast was supposed to be half percent increase, and it went up 0.7% again. So great numbers here on uh, durable goods. Last but not least, we got new home sales. These are basic contracts for new homes. And if you recall, um, the Home Builders Index was uh, showing a lot more confidence. Home, home builders were showing more confidence, and this is why. August, we had a 561,000 uh, under uh, on pace for 561,000 new homes and for the year. And for September, it was supposed to come in about 555. They came in a whopping 667,000. Now, the media has been playing this out to be something that home sales are going down. But if you look at the reason behind it was because we have little inventory. So if homeowners are building more homes, of course, they're going to gravitate towards new home sales. And this is obviously a good sign of that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the headline news. Stock market is down. It's taking its cue uh, today really from the uh, couple, uh, couple of two things. Obviously, bad earnings reports. Headlining that is Chipotle and AMD. Now, we've been at such a uh, streak going up and up and up and up and up and creating new highs almost every single day with the three indexes. Uh, we're kind of stretched. So in, in other words, we could be basing an overbought position on the stock market. So rather than keep going down this road with earnings reports, with the good horizon, economic horizon going down the road, uh, stock market is pulling back a bit or scaling back. And, and a lot of times cashing in on their uh, profit taking. Um, also, there's talk about a new Fed chief. Uh, President Trump has talked about maybe naming somebody here very soon. Uh, it seems to be, uh, obviously, he's interviewing around. And right now, there's two people that seem to be uh, what they believe to be the, the favorites. Uh, Jerome Powell, who's a current Fed governor. And then Mr. Taylor, who uh, is a professor over at Stanford University. And some people think that he might be the head person. Now, he's going to be with Stanley Fisher, who's the current vice chair stepping down. We could be, He could be replacing a, a Fed chair in February and then a vice chair as well. Now, it'll be interesting to see who he comes up with in this, uh, he brings up. But, you know, again, uh, both the guys that are favored, it looks like, uh, between Powell and Taylor seem to be are uh, very hawkish uh people and believe that rate should be much higher. So uh, that could slow things up for the economy. Um, but again, in terms of re inflation, uh, we got to watch where that goes. So it'll be interesting to see who he names and what they do with the current state with the low inflation, but with a good economy moving forward. So be, again, it'll be interesting to see how they take that role on. Let's take a look here at the bond market. And bond market had a horrendous morning, but since it's pulled back quite a bit. We were down, I think, right around at least 22 basis points. At one point, we're way down here. Right now, we're currently about two basis points lower than where we left off yesterday. Yesterday, we closed about 27 basis points lower, uh, which create you know in, an intraday price for the worse. Uh, today, because we start off so low, uh, we did. Um, so we do have currently this morning will be pricing will be much worse. Now, if this continues going upwards, we could potentially have a pricing for the better later on in the day. But again, uh, they might be a little bit more hesitant about doing that. So again, uh, just play safe. But right now, pricing has been worse uh, than where we left off yesterday. Um, let's take a look here at the Treasury. Uh, again, we're still above this level of support here. We're well above the 200-day moving average. We were up to about 2.47, I think it was, that one. Now we pull back to about 2.43 now on the uh, Treasury. So as I had mentioned before, being above here, we got a long ways to go up here. And that means basically we could be uh, seeing rates go up even further, much more than what we've seen before. Okay, so let's uh, keep an eye on it. We do got a lot of volatility ahead, um, but we'll see what we end up, where we end up uh, by end of the day today. 
Um, again, rates are uh, crept up a little bit today due to you know the uh, rate uh, bond market going, but with the stock market taking worsening as the day goes on, some of that money's been going to mortgage-backed securities, and it's been kind of helping us out uh, as well. So we'll kind of wait to see if that, there's some improvement. But so far this morning, rates are worse. Uh, but if you guys want to get those updates, just stop over to Twitter. You can find me at Mike Bjork on Twitter. And I do post updates throughout the day, uh, letting you know how the market is going. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.